What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters, continuing my journey through all of the pre-release packs. This is the last one, one I couldn't get locally, but was donated by the generous people of MTGCardMarket.com. I will put their link in the description below. You're going to be hearing a lot of their name because they gave, uh, they donated five more pre-release packs so I could do the Sealed Saturdays, which will start next week. And they've also given us a promo code, which is NYXHQ, N-Y-X-H-Q, all caps. You'll save 10% off their, uh, on their website. And I heard they also honor it in their store. So go check out their store and tell them HQ sent you, or if you see them at a GP. Forged in Glory. Welcome again, hero. You are nearing the culmination of your journey toward martial glory. Here in Mel Melodis, the city-state of learning, law and justice, you have forged your reputation as the head of the Reverend Army. I played white a single time at pre-release, and I won it. <laughs> so we get our Spear of the General. The promo, you get your seated pack here, so you'll get your promo rare, which is Dawnbringer Charioteers. And then you'll also get one more rare, which can be a mythic if it is a god of color that shares that shares a color with white. So maybe we'll get lucky. Launch the fleet is not terrible. Uh, one mana with strive that is only one more. Until end of turn, any number of target creatures you control or creatures gain. Whenever this creature attacks, put a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Supply line cranes I really like in limited. Laguna Band Trailblazer I really like in limited. Press of Rays, Blood Craze Hoplite, Eagle of the Watch. These are all very good. White is very strong in Journey, I think. Let's just uh, crack this pack. All right. Font of Return, yeah. I don't like the fonts thing. Nightmarish End. I know the name may be, like, you know, correct and everything. I just reminds me of fonts, like Times New Roman. Times New Roman, you know the type. Oh, sorry. Hexproof hex proof and Reach. All right. Uh, Deserter's Quarters and a rare Bear of the Heavens. Man, I'm seeing way too much of this rare. But it is there nonetheless. And so the Sealed Saturdays, I, I notice a lot of you guys in the comments talking about, dude, it would be sweet, you know, not just to open this, but to see you build a deck. I totally hear that. And in all of these Sealed Saturdays that are, that Card Market, MTG Card Market is sponsoring, I'm going to do that. So I kind of filmed all these at once. So by the time I read your feedback, you know, I couldn't really change that. But I've got one, two, three, four, five pre-release packs that I can build Sealed decks uh, over the next five weeks. And I will do that. Tormented Thoughts. Swarmborn Giant. Underworld Coinsmith. Hero's Bane. The green promo. Okay. So white, white green is looking okay through next. Let's get into the BNG. Yeah, you know me. How many of you guys' uh, local shops opened up at midnight for you? I wish everyone did. Black Oak, Odunus, especially for at least pre-orders, right? Sunbond, Nessie and Demolock, and our rarest hero of Leanna Tower. Yeah, white green is looking good with heroes, Hero Bane and Heroes of Leanna Tower. Pretty good. Oh, and launch the, launch the fleet. So white green is looking pretty saucy so far. And uh, fortunately, white and green are both very strong in Theros. So hopefully we can get some support. Leaf Crown Dryad works great. God's Willing is good. Nessian Corsair is playable. We've got three playables right off the bat. Time to Feed. That's playable. Battlewise, Hoplite. Thassa's Emissary. And a Celestial Archon. Dang! This is going to be one hell of a white-green pool. I mean, that's insane. We need a couple of those Nessie Nasps and we're just set. Or another Time to Feed would be great. Or Divine Verdicts. We don't really have any removal, but we have the fatty creatures that we need. Battlewise Valor is very good. Sunshine of Warriors, okay. 
Traveling Philosopher is definitely playable. Two Battlewise Hoplite. We might want to splash blue just for those. I don't know. Tormented Hero, Dark Betrayal, and a Psychic Intrusion. Okay. Well, I think I would probably go white-green in this build. Uh, just, you know, because of the way our rares are. I mean, these are, these are five really strong cards. Celestial Archon, Launch the Fleet, which is just a heroic monster. Uh, Hero of Leanna Tower, Hero's Bane, and Dawnbringer Charioteers. Any one of these can be, you know, a definite blowout. So white-green, when you combine in the time defeats and everything like that, I think is, is very good. You also get your little a white dice with the Nyx symbol on it. Not to be confused with the Theros symbol. And you get your the whole sticker thing, which I don't know if any of your LGSs do it. I kind of get the feeling that no one does. So maybe Wizards should do something different. I like the idea, but I think pre-release is still kind of competitive, even though they wish it weren't. So if you're new to the channel, then now would be a great time to crush that subscribe button. If you're not new, now would be a great time to crush that thumbs up button for all these crazy product release videos. I think uh, release week here, I'm gonna have close to 15 new videos out over a week's time. So you've, you've been, uh, I've been spoiling you guys. Uh, but we'll get back to regular Sealed Saturdays. Real Life Enchantments is starting next week where I'm going to start going through actual stuff that helps you uh, helps make the game easier. Uh, reviewing playmats, binders, dice packs, and then I'm going to give you exactly where to buy them and get them cheap. It's going to be real helpful for you guys, I hope. So keep an eye out for that series, which is going to start. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the Knicks ride, and we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.